Okay, for some reason I find this next part beautiful. Not exactly sure why, but let's try it. Matthew 13, 24 to 30. Jesus told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed in his field. But while everyone was sleeping, his enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat and went away. When the wheat sprouted and formed heads, then the weeds also appeared. The owner's servants came to him and said, Sir, didn't you sow good seed in your field? Where then did the weeds come from? An enemy did this, he replied. The servants asked him, Do you want us to go and pull them up? No, he answered, because while you are pulling the weeds, you may root up the wheat with them. Let both grow together until the harvest. At that time, I will tell the harvesters, first collect the weeds, tie them in bundles to be burned. Then gather the wheat and bring it into my barn. Okay, so the last uh, parable about sowing the seeds, that was more about when people hear the kingdom of God. And here he's now kind of saying, let me tell you what the picture of the kingdom of God looks like. Um, and to what can we compare it? And then he goes back to more sowing and planting of seed. And so he says, a man plants the good news seed. He plants good things. Same as the last parable. And he planted in a field and then the workers took a break and they stopped pay, paying attention and they weren't alert. And when we stop paying attention and being alert, that's when the enemy comes in and plants garbage. We don't even know what's there until it's grown a little bit and made a place for itself. And then the enemy went away. He doesn't need to stick around. And when I was reading this to you, I, I even thought, you know, it's funny because they planted this good seed, didn't know that the evil guy came in and planted the bad seed. And all the while they're watering it, they're tending to it. They don't even know, they don't even realize that they are encouraging the growth of the weed because they're unaware it's there. And how often at first we don't realize that Satan has planted garbage in us and we don't know that we're fostering it and we're enabling it until suddenly it shows some signs of life. And that Satan didn't need to stick around. The enemy didn't need to stick around. He did his job. He's planted it. And we were so deceived that now he knows we're going to water what he did. We're actually going to feed the bad that he planted. So sometimes he doesn't need to stick around. He just has to put the seed in the ground and then we run away with it. And then it says time must have passed because it's not an immediate discovery. It takes time for the wheat to grow and it took time for the weeds to grow. And when they saw the wheat, they probably thought, woohoo. But then weeds appeared and these were unexpected and unintentional on the farmer's part. And they were confusing. So the servants went off and said, hey, why would the farmer plant weeds, like these harmful things? And they said, didn't you plant good stuff? And if you did, why are there weeds? Why are there bad things mixed with the good? And I wrote here, is that, a is that an answer? Is this an answer to the question of why is there bad on earth? Why is there bad and good? And there was a very simple answer from the farmer. The enemy did it. Done. No need for other questions. It's not God. It wasn't the farmer. The farmer didn't go and plant bad things. A farmer would never do that. Answer, done. Why are there bad things on earth? The enemy. Why are there bad things in your life? The enemy. And so then the servants say, do you want us to go on a weed mission? So should we just go and aggressively rip these things out? And the farmer says, no. Not because I want the weeds there. I don't want the bad stuff there. I don't want it at all. But my concern is that we risk getting rid of the good while trying to get rid of the bad. And I don't want to put the good in danger. So let's let the good and the bad exist together for now. Let them finish their growth and their maturity and to get to the fullness of who they are. And then when everything has reached its peak, and it is the right time to see what we've got. We'll rip out the weeds, burn them, totally be done with them. And then we'll see the wheat and it will be fully grown. It'll have a strong root, well established by then. And so then it'll be safe to rip out the weeds. The wheat is not at risk. We'll remove them all because they're good for nothing, the weeds. And then we'll have a harvest party. We'll gather the wheat, the good, and we'll bring them home to heaven. 
And I think I just thought that was such a beautiful, simple picture of why there are bad things in our life and in our world.